Remove the four screws holding the cover onto the bottom. Using two of the cover screws as jacking screws, if required, remove the cover from the bottom. Remove and replace the cover O-ring. Using the screws that hold the coupling guard on as jacking screws to remove the impeller if required. Remove the key from the pump shaft. The simplest way of removing the chemical seal is to remove the entire quill assembly. Sometimes this is not practical as you have to remove the coupling cap and the cu coupling key from the shaft before you can withdraw it from the body. The alternate method is to withdraw the circlip from the car dynamic seal and remove the dynamic seal from the shaft with the cartridge still intact. Using the M5 by 35 screws for the coupling guard, you can use these as extraction screws for the dynamic seal. To remove the cartridge, remove the four attaching rub screws from the cartridge. Fit two of them into the extraction holes. Evenly tightening, remove the cartridge, extract the cartridge from the body. Remove the used static face and O-rings from the cartridge. Remove the lip seal from the cartridge. Turn the cartridge over and lo locate the two removal holes. Fit a screwdriver or small punch to it, the seal, and tap the seal out gently. Fit lip seal to cartridge. Place lip seal into cartridge with lip, lip facing toward and using a three quarter inch skid 40 piece of black pipe as a drift, gently tap the lip seal into place. Fit our rings to cartridge. Lubricate. We recommend Teflon based grease, which is used in engine assembly as opposed to clay-based grease. Fit O-ring to static seal. Lubricate. Clean hands fit static seal to cartridge.
clean thoroughly with bottom residue contact cleaner or similar. Fit cartridge to body, aligning the four driving holes in the two extraction holes. Press in till firmly until seated. Fit four socket set screws to cartridge body and tighten evenly. Tighten until all four screws are fir fitted firmly. Got to add fit with the Loctite 2.3 thread lock. Ensure O ring. Internal O ring is well lubricated. Aligning the drive pin in the seal to the key in the shaft. Push the, the seal firmly home. Fit the circlip loosely to the shaft. Using a piece of 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 pipe, press the circlip into its groove. The circlip is firmly seated in its groove. Fit the impeller key to the shaft. Fit the impeller to the shaft, aligning the key with the key groove in the impeller. This should be a nice, smooth fit, and the impeller should move freely. Fitting the new O-ring to the cover, first lightly lubricate. Ensuring that the EBSER 8 logo is vertical, align the four screws in the cover, or holes in the cover, to the holes in the body. Fit the four off cover screws. Tighten evenly, torquing these screws evenly to 80 newton meters. PSG, where innovation flows.